Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist is a very high concept series that has music, it has a uh, pathos, it's got comedy. Uh, it basically follows Zoe Clark, who uh, works at a startup company, and she gets an MRI, and during the MRI, there's an earthquake, which gives her this extraordinary ability to hear people's thoughts through song. I play Max Richmond. He is Zoe's best friend. Uh, he also has a couple secrets of his own. Uh, throughout the, the series, we kind of find out what his dreams are in life and uh, where he fits outside of the office. Max is pretty easygoing. He uh, goes along with the flow, doesn't really want a promotion, uh, kind of coasts, to be honest, um, complacent. And we see that in the pilot when Zoe's going after her big promotion and he could care less, really just kind of there to be a, a supporter for her. And throughout the series, we'll, we'll see, you know, maybe, maybe that, that, sh that starts to change when other people try to bring it to his attention, that he, he just kind of coasts along in life and maybe that's not the best thing to do. I think audiences will relate to my character because everybody loves a good will they or won't they friendship turned love story. And I also think that people will relate to this show because if you identify with the mother, if you identify with Moe's character, some of the people at the office, um, Zoe's work life, Zoe's family life, what it's like to lose or be losing a loved one, uh, I really think that this is something that if you're with a big group of people watching this show, it will hit you and it will hit the person next to you in a different way. Zoe has this, uh, this unique power that she now has to learn how to harness. And it impacts her life because not only is it distracting, now she knows people's innermost thoughts. So that's kind of a weapon to be used or to be maybe even um, forgotten at, at times. Because you can't unknow something like maybe your best friend being in love with you or uh, your mom feeling a certain way about you that you didn't really know. And um, that's, that's difficult because it's, you kind of have to be a little bit um, calculated and, and not manipulative, but, but, but uh, use and utilize that power to your advantage and the advantage of your peers. Zoe's father, Mitch, is going through this awful, awful illness where he's slowly losing motor f functions. It's kind of like an ALS type disease. So it's, we have a really unique way of having him communicate to her. And obviously through Zoe's power, she, he gets to communicate to her through song. And that's really palpable and really powerful. And I think a place in the pilot and in the series where it's not just a fun reveal and it's actually something that's really gonna hit home. And when I watched the pilot, I was like, oh no, what's this water falling out of my face? It's leaking. Um, and I, I, I think that you can't help but be compelled by something like that, especially how earned it is and how beautiful Peter and Jane's performances both are. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to be cast in this role. Uh, I got the script by my agents, and then, and then when I met with Austin and Kim and all the powers that be, uh, it was just like love at first sight. I just, they wanted to make sure I was cool, I wanted to make sure they were cool, and as long as we were like good to work together, the script was definitely enough. Um, I felt so much from the script, and I loved my character. I also loved the payoff of my character and where he's headed. And that was something that really drew me to the project. And now we're here and we're making so many episodes and I just have loved the entire journey. I think that this show will appeal to international audiences, mostly because music is a universal language. Everyone understands that. Everyone understands a good Beatles song. Everyone understands the Rolling Stones. And um, it, it's, it's gonna be a real device to communicate to people and let them, let them understand the story we're telling in, in a really unique way. I think the moment in the pilot that I'm excited about is my song because it kind of comes out of nowhere and it, I really enjoy how you almost forget about my character because uh, there's so much other stuff that goes on and really leads you into this heartfelt uh, direction and then I come in and just give a little, also there's this guy who's got an idea and I just love being that because I think it gives the audience an idea of where we're going in series. 
People are going to be delighted. We have um, Mandy Moore choreographing all of our numbers. Everything, the production value, the dances, are they come right from here. She really like uh, channels our our heart and, and, and our soul and our movement and the way that each of us move, whether it's Mary or me or Jane or Alex, we all move in a different way. And Mandy and Austin have been really amazing at capturing that and bringing that out. Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist is a high concept series with music. You are going to be delighted, you are going to feel, you are going to laugh, you are going to love it. It has music, it has dramatic acting, it has wonderful performers top to bottom. I am so excited to be a part of it. You are going to be so excited to see it.